there. My name is Seymour the Snail, and I'm here to talk to you all about prehistoric mammals in Fresno County. Although California is best known for its megafauna mammals, this state has a deep fossil history stretching all the way back to the Cambrian period. Dinosaurs, unfortunately, are rather lacking. They certainly lived in California, as they did everywhere else in North America during the Mesozoic era. But many of their bones haven't been preserved well in the fossil record. I'm going to bring in my friend Skeeter the Mosquito to tell you more about this. The saber-toothed tiger is far and away the most famous prehistoric mammal of California. Thanks to the recovery of literally thousands of complete skeletons from the famous La Brea Tar Pits of downtown Los Angeles. This predator was smart but clearly not quite smart enough. <laughs> As entire packs of saber tooths got trapped in the muck when they attempted to feast on already mired prey. Bye, tiger. Almost as plentiful in the fossil record as the saber-toothed tiger, the dire wolf is another popular prehistoric animal. As with Smilodon, numerous skeletons of the dire wolf have been found in the La Brea tar pits, demonstrating that these two muscular, roughly equally sized megafauna mammals competed for the same food. Thank you, Dinah the dire wolf. The only dinosaur ever to be discovered in Southern California and of a, the few dinosaurs to be discovered in the entire state was a 20 foot long two ton Angliosaur like this one here and thus a close relative of the Angliosaurus. Like many prehistoric animals, Angliosaur was discovered completely by accident. A road crew was doing construction near San Diego and the fossil of the Angliosaur was recovered from a ditch that had been excavated by a sewer pipe. Those are many of the land animals. Now my friend Shane the shark is going to tell you all about some of the water animals. Hey everybody. Long ago in the oceans near California swam the mighty Californiosaurus. It's terrifying. This was one of the most primitive fish. It was called a fish lizard. This late Triassic fish eater is often referred to as the Shastasaurus, but paleontologists, they prefer the Californiosaurus, probably because it's more fun. My buddy Shane got a little scared from that Californiosaurus, so I'm Sheila. One of the few prehistoric animals ever to be discovered near Fresno Plotosaurus was 40 feet long. The family of marine reptiles that dominated the world's oceans toward the end of the Cretaceous period were unusually large. And they had unusually large eyes. That points to it being an especially effective predator of other marine reptiles. Another creature is the prehistoric whale, Cetotherium, one species of which prowled the shores of California millions of years ago. It can be considered a smaller, sleeker version of the modern gray whale. Like its modern descendant, Cetotherium filtered plankton from seawater with the aid of baleen plates, and it was probably preyed on by the giant prehistoric sharks, like my ancestors. Also prowling this state were, just to name a few, the American Mastodon, the giant ground sloth like the one behind me, Ooh and the giant short-faced bear, all of which were, went extinct shortly after the last ice age. Victims of climate change, as well as hunting by Native American tribes. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you learned a lot about prehistoric animals. See you next time. <laughs>